Okay, super brief video here. I'm gonna do a series of these. I, I've had several people ask me in the past how the, the Healy and the I-1500 compare to one another. Uh, I, I still believe that the I-1500 is one of the best bargains you can get out there for output versus you know how much money you've got sunk in it. And I finally got them set up on these meters. The, uh, the meters that I've been using in the past, these things, I am moving away from these because uh, one thing, they're very delicate, it seems. And another, they, they really only read peak, which I like to know what my peak outputs are, but it's not really a good, um, it's not very representative of how much work it does over time. These meters will actually read uh, output over time, you know, like the, the old ones, they would stop at one kilowatt hour. These ones just keep going. Uh, I just now got the I-1500 set up. The Healy has been running on this one for a few days. We're gonna reset it to zero. Whoops, I missed it. Uh, try that again. You have to wait for it to say CLR and then let go. Hit the button, resets it to zero. <coughs> we'll go ahead and reset this one to zero too. So it doesn't have that three watt advantage. Okay, now this one is the Healy 2.0. This one is the i1500. Now this is, you know, I, I redid this board a couple of months ago because uh, the one I had before was just too much spaghetti and nonsense. I'm gonna have to do it again because somehow it's turned into the same thing. So this will probably be different the next time you see it, but for right now, this is the Healy. This is the i1500. They are both running into a 48 volt circuit, which basically they're going to just a couple of batteries that all they're doing is adding resistance to the line. And then it's going from there to uh, a set of inverters. They are under the exact same load at all times. Now the I-1500, I have run that one at 24 volts, at 36 volts and at 48 volts. And it's done really well at all three. The Healy, I have run this one at 48, 36, and tried 24. Uh, it did not like 36 very much. It didn't work at all in 24 volts. So we're, we're pretty well stuck running it at this 48 volt circuit, which is fine. That's what it's designed for. This one was really labeled for a 24 volt circuit, but we're running it at 48. I'm gonna do this for two weeks, and we're gonna see what kind of uh, outputs we get, how they compare with each other over the long run. And then we're going to try this one at 24 volts and see if it does better or worse. Uh, in the past, it seems like they have, you know, done about the same no matter what it's on. The only real difference I've noticed is that the Healy spins way faster at, at 48 volts. Now, I don't know if anybody's, if y'all have been watching the numbers so far, the Healy is making a lot more power right now than what the Healy is doing. <coughs> but what I've noticed is that, you know, like right now we've got about 20 mile an hour wind out there. This is what the Healy is making in, you know, 15 to 20, it's gusting up to maybe 25 and 30. And then that's what we're pulling off here. What I noticed is that the, the Healy takes more wind just to get started. Once it's running, it does really well, but if it stops, then it takes that really strong gust to ever get it going again. While the I-1500, this thing is turning all the time. It's always making some power. It's not always making a lot of power, but it's always making some power. And I think that that's what's going to make the the i1500 hang with the the healy so anyway this is just an experiment there's going to be regular updates of this i'm going to try to update this every two weeks 
just to show how they're working with each other, uh, which one's doing better, and you know, just just to demonstrate which one might be a better bargain in the long run. So, thanks for watching. If you find this stuff interesting, fascinating, or anything, please subscribe. Got any questions, let me know. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day.